Good morning. It is Sunday the 15th of September. It is, oh my gosh, early and I am recording today because um, this week's blog post is going to be entitled and the winner is... drumroll. Because um, for the past fortnight on the Knit to Stay Sane uh, Ravelry group I have had a bat up for grabs um, and I, today I'm going to draw the winner. Um, so I wanted to record, um, just so as you know, it's all above board and I ain't cheating, okay? So, first up though, I want to let you know and show you for a change what I've been up to this week. Um, uh, in life, I have mainly been swimming. Um, I teach at our local swimming club, um, our coach rather, um, so we're back to that, five sessions a week. Um, work has been busy, um, so it's not left a lot of time for anything else. But I am trying to get fit and lose some extra um, inches. Um, so to that cause, I have been swimming myself. I have been swimming my little heart out, and so far this week I have swum 10 kilometres. Um, in a couple of hours, um, the pool, our local pool, will be open for a general swim and I'll go and put another couple in then. Um, so until then I thought I would um, record and hopefully get this on the blog, the blog written and it up um, before I go. So I have an FO which is over there. Gosh darn it. FO, yes. So uh, in the the overwhelming theme to my knitting at the moment is cutting it fine. <laughs> uh, last week's vlog I finished Mackay and I cut it so fine I had to jerry-rig the um, frill, the ruffle on the edge because I ran out. Um, this time I have my FO is a pair of huge socks. They are just a vanilla sock toe up uh, with a slip stitch heel for a bit of extra um, wear. Um, once upon a time I was a little bit squiffy and volunteered to knit socks for a man who has particularly large feet. So I had these socks in my project bag um, and obviously the yarn was in there and I was knitting away, knitting away, knitting away um, on the last sock heading for the rib and then just thought to myself I'll check and see where I'm up to on the yarn and the yarn, I was perilously close and I thought, oh, I haven't got any second ball for this, I haven't got anything I can match, because this is knit out of Regia colour and it's a six ply, it's quite a thick um, yarn, I would say it's probably bordering on DK or even sport, uh, or sport rather than DK, um, and I have nothing that I can substitute with. Um, so, I... I knit until I couldn't bear to knit anymore in case I ran out um, and I don't think you can tell that one is slightly, maybe a row shorter, but I had that much left. Cutting it fine, to say the least. But they're off the needles. Um, I don't think I'm going to block them. I'm going to, I'll wash them and just gently, gently um, shape them. I don't have sock blockers that even remotely fit this. The only sock blockers I have are a medium and these are so far past medium it's not even remotely funny. Um, so but they're not for, they're, they're Christmas so they can go in the ready to be gifted drawer. Um, so I've been working on those while I've been at work and when I've been out and about um, and my home project is my sweater and it lives in my Knitting is Good sweater bag. Um, and it's called Wisteria. I've been knitting it forever and ever. Amen. Um, and as part of um, Mel uh, Single Handed Knits at Buddy Knit Along, my buddy and I are knitting sweaters. She's had, she's got two to knit, and she's on her second. And she had socks to knit, and she's on her at least second pair. I'm such an epic fail. But anyway. <laughs> So, I've been knitting this wisteria forever. Um, it's a lovely sweater. It is 
and this in the round from the top down there's cabling pattern at the yoke along the bottom and at the bottom of the sleeves it's by Kate Gilbert um, last week when I blogged I were, had finished the body um, and I'm not a little girl so the miles of endless stockinette was just sapping my happiness and then I got to the bottom and I was like yeah I'm at the bottom but then I had all the cable work to do and if you can see that there are 15 at least repeats of the pattern um, but thankfully I found Pom Pom Quarterly issue 6 and in that is a tutorial on cabling without a cable needle so the whole cabling part of it has, has moved along quite quickly for that I am eternally grateful so this week I have finished a sleeve Ta -da! and almost finished the second sleeve <laughs> look, look, look just, you can't really see it just about started the patterning on the second sleeve so I'm hoping with a good wind I can get this finished maybe today maybe. I have swimming tonight and I've got swimming my I've got to put my swim in so maybe not but hopefully today I'll get that finished so I'm quite excited about that um, so that's my FOs and my whips on the horizon for next week, um, I'm digging out a couple of projects that I have been languishing for a while because I've I had a really bad dose of castellitis a little while ago. So I normally like to have maybe two or three projects on the go, a big stay at home one and a mobile one and something in between. Um, so once Wisteria is cleared off, the socks are cleared off, I'm going to go back to knitting in my Sew Buttons on Ice Cream bag, kindly gifted to me by Mel and made by Mel's mum in um, Florida, I think Mel's mum is. Beautiful bright pink lining with a fabulous pocket and a drawstring closure. It's a wonderful bag. I don't buy project bags if I can help it because for me and my budget, I would rather spend the money on yarn. But now I have a proper project bag, I can see the attraction in project bags. And I can see myself maybe trying to increase the number of real project bags that I have. Um, but we'll see. So inside my project bag is this. It is a Piper's Journey, and I'm sure you've all heard of Piper's um, Journey. It is a pattern um, by <laughs> by uh, Paula Emmons Feasley. Is that right? I think that's right. And it is a shawlette with a garter stitch body and an applied knitted edging. Um, it's supposed to be knit out of sock weight, uh, no, sport weight, but this time, it's not the first one I've knit, I think this is maybe three or four, this time I'm knitting it out of sock weight yarn, and it is um, opal, sweet and spicy, in the red onion colourway. Um, see the state of this? This is my centre pool ball. Um, I have a cone winder, not a, ca uh, not a ball winder. So it comes off in a nice square, fat, round bowl, like you would imagine. And then when you start using it, it goes plop, and ends up like that. So because it's sport, uh, sock weight, the gauge is completely, completely different. I'm knitting it on um, my Knit Pro interchangeables. Um, I think the, it's Knit Picks in America, isn't it? Um, and a 325 millimeter. Um, so because the gauge is so completely different, what I'm doing is I'm going to carry on knitting the body until it measures 18 centimetres. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I have a multiple of the edging stitches required, the repeat 
of the edging, that makes no sense, the repeat of the edging requires six stitches of your body. Um, so I'm going to have a multiple of six stitches plus like the original um, cast on number. Um, it's a paid for pattern so I don't want to give more away than that. So I'm going to carry on knitting this. It's squished onto a, a cable that's way, way too short, but that's what I came out of my cable bag first, so that's what I'm using. Um, so that's going to be my mobile project for next week. Um, I also, excuse me, reaching, I'm going to pick up another project that I have had languishing for a long, long time. It's called uh, Florelli. It's a lace shawl um, and I am knitting it out of Louisa Harding um, hand-painted um, yarn. It's a merino silk 50-50 mix and it's beautiful. So this is the pattern. Lovely lace work. Um, I, don't, I think I'm again knitting with yarn that's not called for um, but this is hand paint and I know lace looks like nothing on earth until you block it but I'm I'm worried that the hand painted colour I'm losing a lot of the texture of the pattern when you're close up you can see it and it, it does look pretty but I think from a distance it's just going to look like But anyhow, so this is the yarn. It's a single. It's beautifully soft. It's lovely. Um, I got it um, on sale a long, long time ago. It's been in stash forever. Um, so I wanted to use that up. So that's going to come out of hibernation, essentially. And hopefully I'm going to see some work on that. <coughs> Excuse me, next week. Also, I have to, I have to cast on because time and tide may, may wait for no man and Christmas is coming. Sorry to mention the C word, but it is. And I have promised my goddaughter and her sister ballet wraps for Christmas. Um, so this is Sweet Blossom and it is by Megan Jones. Um, I'm knitting them out of Sardar country style. It's a double knit, it's a wool blend, there's nylon and acrylic in it as well, um, but this, these are for children so I'm not desperately bothered about that. Um, I'm going to have to knit something that can just be chucked in the wash, possibly even tumble dried. Oh, it says no, don't tumble dry. Must tell mum, don't show it the tumble dryer. So my goddaughter Sophie wanted pink and her big sister wants black, so they need cast on. I don't think they're going to be big knits, but they still need done, and I'll be happier knowing that they're ready. So, that's to do. Um, once Wisteria is finished, I do want to cast on from Pom Pom Quarterly, issue 6, the, the wonderful cabling gurus. This cardigan here, it is called... Morganite. And it is knit in one piece from the bottom up. Um, and I'm going to use this yarn. It's King Cole Moods Duet. And it's tonal. And it's, uh, it's an acrylic blend again. I'm sorry for you for yarn snobs out there. I'm a yarn snob, but all, I'm also on a budget and to knit a sweater in pure wool for a woman my size in the UK. I was uh, pricing yarn on an online website, um, which are, they're, they're a fabulous shop, reasonably priced, so they weren't like stupid prices, but it was upwards of £60 for a sweater. and. With the best one in the world, I can't justify that. So, this was less than 20 quid for a sweater's quantity. Bargain. Um, so I should be casting that on as well. Hopefully, sooner rather than later. Um, 
and also on the horizon this week is I'm desperate to spin. I haven't spun for a fortnight. I have some beautiful Nunoku fibre on the wheel um, that's spinning really thin and it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, I'm spinning it for somebody um, as a gift. Um, and I want to spin nice thoughts in it. Um, last couple of weeks I've been so focused on getting stuff finished. Um, the idea of getting my wheel out made me feel guilty that I was spending my time on something that I shouldn't do. So I wanted to, I want to spin positive vibes into it. So it hasn't been touched. But hopefully this week I when now languishing projects, really languishing projects are finished. I'm I'm hoping that I can feel happier about spinning and put some time into that. On to the whole reason for me recording this week. Um Back in the Tour de Fleece, I was lucky enough, excuse me, whistling, um, to win a bat from Monica48. Um, she's a member of the Shiny Happy People group on Ravelry, and they are truly beautiful souls over there. Um, so I won a bat, and she asked me what did I what what did I want, and I was like, I'm just delighted to win. I'm a purple girl. Um, but anything you want to throw at me, I'd be, I'd be grateful to catch and receive. And this woman was so generous. She sent me two bats. <clears throat> so I decided to pay it forward, which is the whole reason for us being here today. So this is the bat. This is the thing of beauty that she's made. And I'm donating to one of you guys out there. It is... Um, I don't think I think I asked her what it was, what was in it, what fibres was in it, and she couldn't quite remember. Um, but looking at it, I would say this: it's the the wool is probably merino, maybe Colourdale. Let me see the colours. They've got blues and oranges and purples, and on the back, oh, oh, silk. Can you see all that beautiful purple silk? Mm. And I also know. And that blip in recording was caused by the battery going flat on the, uh, on the camera. Brilliant. So, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the battery going flat. Um, I was talking to you about this beautiful bat. So, I was describing the bat and saying how lovely it is. And there is Firestar in it, but I put it away in its bag now. So, it's staying there for now. Okay? <laughs> so, um, I opened the thread called Pay It Forward. Um, and... Originally, I had said that it was a no-chatter thread um, and asked people to post any comment, didn't matter what, um, to be in with the chance to win. Well, we had chatter. Um, originally, I'd said I was going to use a random number generator on my phone to, to draw the winner, but I didn't want to delete the chat because that just seems awful to, to delete what people have said. So I've locked the thread this morning um, and what I've done is there were 19 voices in the thread. Um, one was me and one was Monica. So there are in here, in my little glass bowl, um, 17 pieces of paper with a name of every voice, every person who chatted, um, who posted rather, in the group. So I'm going to draw a name. Ooh, that one fell out, so that one's the lucky winner. Who is it? It is... Scrumple Love Daisy in Denmark. Can you see that? So, Daisy in Denmark. Um, PM me on Ravelry your address. Um, one thing that was said was um, that um, a lot of people that posted don't spin. So, Daisy, if you don't spin and you don't know anybody who does spin that you would like to pass the bat on to um let me know and i can i'll spin it for you um i'm not nearly clever enough to spin with intent um and i'm also not the fastest spinner in the world so if you want me to i'm more than happy to spin it for you and i will get it done as quickly and uh, as i can and to the best of my ability and the yarn will be a complete surprise to both of us so um 
I am going to now go and try and seam the videos together because it has now started a fresh video harumph so I'm going to have to try and do some editing now um, so I hope everybody has a really really good weekend what's left of it a good week um, and I will be back to blogging as normal next week okay thank you for watching um, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon bye bye